you know, he plays on the edge. His greatest strength at times can be some sometimes his greatest weakness. But but I can tell you now, there'd be 17 other sides queuing up to have his services. Swans and GWS, obviously that was the most exciting game of the weekend. Uh, you know, what a finish that was, incredible. Uh, what mm. did you take away from that game? Well, uh, look, you look at the last quarter alone. I mean, not 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 too many games where you have more scoring shots and you lose. Um, I mean, I mean, they had, what was it, 23 scoring shots to 19, Sydney. Um, it would have been a really tough one for Longmire to swallow for, for Horse and his coaching crew. Um, Two seven in the last two goals seven in the last quarter from seventeen entries, um, sixty five entries is is enough. You know that's enough enough supply to kick that. And, and again, they had what 23, 23 shots. Um, but but their game was was you know particularly that that second half four goals from the back half they kicked, uh, which is their mantra. They spread you out wide and come through the corridor. Um, exceptional. You know, talent through there, and you know their midfield: Parker, Dawson, Hickey, Hewitt, Row, Bottom. Yes, they clearly miss Kennedy and, and and Mills, which was significant. And you're not going to replace those type of players. Um, and and I think that that started to show um, against really their their crosstown rivals. Um, I, I think they're you know particularly Sydney with 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 their last quarter, with our plus twenty four handball receives. You could see them just taking the game on. Um, and 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 that's what they do. Um, Seventeen entries in the last quarter is is certainly um, enough opportunity. So that was one that that I'm I'm sure Horse would uh, be certainly frustrated with. But but they've had an exceptional year coming from sixteenth last year to to finishing where they were. So they'll um, they're they're in a really good spot, particularly with their younger type players that they have. We'll talk about Toby Green, but only the on field uh, part of it. Um... You know, what a magnificent performance, um, you know, three goals and then obviously that contest uh, in the last minute, uh, sorry, in the last five seconds where he, where he um, you know, got the free kick and, you know, iced the game. Um, what do you think of Toby Green? And also um, as a, a defensive coach previously, um, like, how do you stop him? Yeah, it's difficult. Um, it's hard to stop to stop him when he's, um, when he's getting a lot of supply. I mean, you want to be able to restrict their supply. And again, they only had... You know, only, but they had the 45 entries, but what he kicked three goals, one, so and and seven score involvement. So he's he's a significant player. We know he's an A grader. Um, you know, he plays on the edge, his greatest strength at times can be some sometimes his greatest weakness. But but I can tell you now there'd be 17 other sides queuing up to have his services. Um like he's you know, his ability to drag that team over, he, he clearly he's um he's a proud bloke. Um, whether or not he stays in, but they've got their own issues with both greens out, the other green with a broken hand now. So, and seeing seeing what happens to Toby Cummings out as well, and do they back Mumford up again? He's only played sort of back to back games four times this year, but given the significance of the game, you think he'd play. But um, yeah, yeah, certainly a lot of talent up there. Um, we, we, we know that the G, GWS in terms of their supply, if they can get them, then and, and, and what Green's capable of, and We've seen it quite often that he's, you know, kicked the three, kicked the four, kicked seven, stands on heads, really good at ground level and, and composed under pressure. So, yeah, he's almost a complete package, Toby, isn't he? Sydney's injury list has been um, yeah, very very thin this season. They've barely had any players injured. And it was kind of ironic that um, they had such, you know, arguably two injuries, such crucial injuries for the, for the final. Do you feel as if if they had Mills and Kennedy, they probably would have won the game? Uh, look at the stats. Parker had... Uh, 34 touches, but their next best was Hewitt with 19. So their midfielders, aside from Parker, really failed to get a lot, of, a lot of their hands on the ball. I think I particularly think that connection with Hickey as well. You know, Hickey, Parker, Mills, um, Kennedy, um, that's as good as any in the comp. Um, so to have two of those, you know, two really your genuine A graders out, it's it, it, it's hard to cover, and you're not you're not going to cover the quality and the talent of those two. But you hope, you know, that that others step up. Um, and they row bottom and 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 Warner, who th- you know went through there, and Dawson, who's going to be a really capable player. So, look, they've got some young emerging talent, but to replace Kennedy, who's a you know he'll, he'll be a Hall of Famer, and and Mills, who's developing comfortably, is it, it's difficult to replace. So, you, you you hope that you know the plans that you put in place against you know Hopper, Taranto, Kelly, and Ward, 
those types. I mean, they're all A graders in their own right. Um, and you throw those younger ones in there, it's it'll it'll be a great learning experience for them. I want to talk about Jesse Hogan because you know, obviously, it, it looked at Fremantle as if his career could quite quite possibly be over. Um, but he actually took a career high six contested marks on the weekend and uh, kicked two goals. Was very unlucky not to have four goals here at the post twice. Um, what, what what do you think is behind his resurgence? And um, yeah, and do you think he can have a part to play in the final series? Yeah, look, it's 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 hard to tell without being inside clearly, but he seems to be really enjoying. You know, former number one pick, he seems to really being enjoying out of the spotlight. Um, you know, he's up there GWS with probably a lot of blokes that have been high draft picks as well. Um, but, but it's just a credit to Leon, to, to Leon Cameron, isn't it? Um, it's great to see at Fremantle for a couple of years. Um, you know, some well documented well-documented personal issues that that he's had to fight through and go through and it's just rap rap to see isn't it when you see guys that that clearly have the talent but um you know the and, and it's a credit to leon again to and and i'm sure there's many more involved there just to be able to get the best out of him clearly he looks happy he's fresh he's he's fit um and we know what his talent's like so yeah look it's one of those great stories and you know we had Pickett, didn't we a couple of years ago um at richmond they're, they're just awesome stories and 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 footy's such a good game and connector and and to see that unfold in the way that it did on the weekend um yeah, it's a it's a credit to everyone involved at, at gws 